Hey guys, so I'm creating this video about how to train your hair and go longer in between washes. If you currently wash your hair every day, I would only add a day or two days at a time in between washes and just kind of take baby steps and build your way up. So right now I wash my hair every 10 days and this in this video I'm going to take you day by day throughout the process and show you how I get my hair to last that long. So today's day one, I washed my hair last night. On day one, I don't add any product to my hair like as far as dry shampoo goes. I just style it as normal. And on day two, that's when I start adding dry shampoo. So I'm going to show you how I do that in the next clip. On days two through five, I just dry shampoo my hair as needed. So I'm going to be using a powdered dry shampoo and I'm going to apply it with what looks like kind of like a makeup brush. But um, what you'll notice, the longer you go in between washes, you'll notice that your hair will start to get oily or greasy in one place always first. And then as time goes on, you'll start seeing oil or grease uh, appear in different places or more places. So mine typically starts right here around my ears and I don't have on any makeup by the way and I just came in from the sun. So you're gonna see a lot of redness and a lot of zits because it's uh, that time. So um, around my ears is where I get greasy first and I dry shampoo there every time. It just seems to be the place that has the most. So I'll dry shampoo in that area every time and then as time goes on on those days, those, that stretch of days, I'll start to get some oil back here on the back of my head. So um, what I'll do, I'll probably just fast forward through this part, but I'll go through and I'll show you kind of how I apply it. And I always let my dry shampoo sit for a couple of minutes before I like shake it out. So again, I'll meet you back here in a second. Once I've let that set in my hair for a couple minutes, some days, uh, it depends on time really, I'll let it set for like one to two minutes. Other days, I will leave it in there until like the next day. Um, so what I will do is go ahead and just kind of shake it out with my fingers or pat. Basically, I'm just like scratching my scalp on all those areas where I, apply, I applied dry shampoo. And this is something for curly haired girls. So a wide tooth comb is your best friend. Um, I have this wooden one that I ordered from Amazon. It has product all over it, so <laughs> don't judge me. But basically what I will do to kind of just tame it, because right now I can scrunch some of the curl back into it, but it looks, I don't know what the word would be, a little bit disheveled, probably where like I've had it in a ponytail and I've slept on it. So what I'll do is I'll take this comb and just like I did layers, and um, you saw me do kind of like weird layers with the dry shampoo when I was applying it, I'll do layers and I'll go through and I'll comb my roots. So um, this is important for, again, if you have curly hair, you're gonna comb the root, but you're not gonna comb through the curl. You wanna keep the curl intact and I will just basically smooth into the curl. If you have straight hair, before you apply dry shampoo, make sure you brush your hair because dry shampoo is basically um, delaying the production of those natural oils that your scalp and hair produces, which is healthy for your hair. So go ahead and brush those all the way through to your, uh, from root to tip, and then after you've brushed it through, then go back to your roots and dry shampoo as needed. So, You'll see, I'm really only combing like that first probably inch to two inches of my hair. And this is what I meant by layers. I guess it would be more like a section. And I'll just comb through and kind of smooth out that first inch or two. Okay, so at this point, we've made it halfway through the process. We've been adding dry shampoo every day, and now, especially if you have curly hair, your hair just kind of needs, it'll get a look, and it just needs like revived. So if you have straight hair, now would be a good time to just run the straightener back through your hair, or take a hair dryer with like that hot air and a hairbrush and run it through it and just kind of smooth everything back out again. Um, that's what I used to do whenever I did wear my hair straight. Now that I wear it curly, 
I will scrunch water into my hair as needed throughout the process. But at this point in time, I'll do that. I'll scrunch water into my hair and then I'll go back and add more of the gel that I used when I first washed my hair. And I'll only do this once throughout the process. And um, toward the end, I'll add one more product, but we'll get to that in a minute. So what I do is I'll just scrunch water in, scrunch more gel in, and then I'll flip my hair over and take a diffuser with a hair dryer, and I'll just dry my hair enough to dry that water and that gel, and then boom, you have day two hair all over again. And here we are on day nine. Tomorrow is day 10, it'll be a hair washing day. So I have left my hair wet on purpose because I wanted to show you this last step, especially for people with curly hair. Um, I know that I've mentioned before about going back in and scrunching water back into your hair to kind of revive the curls, but especially with curly hair, um, your ends can get kind of dry. So I use this leave-in conditioner called The Good Stuff and I will scrunch water into my hair and then use about a nickel sized amount and I'll scrunch that leave-in conditioner into my hair and then I'll go back and dry it with the hair dryer. Um, my hair's about halfway wet, but with the hair dryer, it'll only take less than five minutes to dry it, which is a drastic improvement from when I wash my hair and dry it. So, um, honestly, if you wanted to add dry shampoo at this point, if you've already trained your hair somewhat, you could even get two or three more days out of this. Um, since we're at the end of the video, I would love if you would comment and let me know if you still have any questions, any tips that you learned. And for this little piece at the end, I'm going to just kind of go step by step what I did when I first started training my hair. So about four years ago, when I first started training my hair, I washed my hair every single morning. So I've already had some people tell me, you know, that their scalp's itchy, scratchy, they can't stand the way it feels. And I remember feeling that exact same way when I first started. So the important part is baby steps. It takes a long time. Training your hair to go this far in between washes does not happen overnight <laughs> whatsoever. Um, I first started from every morning to the night before. So instead of washing my hair every day before work, I would wash it the night before. And then you wanna give your hair time to adjust. And you'll kinda notice whenever you hit that tipping point and all of a sudden your hair doesn't feel as greasy, scratchy. You'll, you'll just know, it'll start to adjust. It'll be subtle, but you'll, you'll notice the difference. And then go ahead and take that next baby step. Instead of maybe the night before, go every other day and dry shampoo in between. And then again, give your scalp and your hair time to adjust. So once you kind of go over that threshold again, take another baby step and add a second day in between and then just keep going and going. So that adjustment period in between um, adding a day could be a couple weeks, it could be a week, it could be three weeks. It's just kind of dependent on you, your scalp, your hair, and the way it feels. So now when I add days, I still only add two days at a time tops and I don't really get that scratchy feeling anymore, but I do notice that my hair gets like ultra oily looking until again, my scalp has time to adjust. So don't get discouraged if you're just now trying it out, just now trying to train your hair, just take those little baby steps and remember to have patience and you'll get there. So again, if you have any comments, let me know. Let me know if this was helpful to you. If you have any questions about how I style my hair for curly hair and you want like a curly hair specific video, again, just let me know, I'm open for anything and I hope you guys enjoyed.